Welcome back. Can't wait to show you the finishing touches. Okay, so our little boy here, um, his scarf needs a couple little highlights. So we'll just, actually, he's got like little dashes for his. He's got that little striped scarf, but you can do whatever design that you want. Okay, nothing fancy. It's really tiny, so. I didn't really add a whole lot of detail. Okay, and then this little girl, she's got little pink stripes, so. Just add a quick little highlight here with the lighter base color. Okay, and then we'll just add some little white stripes here and maybe a little bit of pink. So there's her cute little scarf, and then his gets a bit of a highlight. Time for those cute little hearts at the bottom. So I'm just gonna base coat them in. I'm using just a soft haired uh, filbert brush, just a regular one. And you can use any colors of red that you want. There's some red and a bright pink and, and so on. Wow, look at me go. <laughs> okay, so I'm just using a regular filbert brush to base these in, or you can use any brush that you like. And I'm just using very various colors of red and pink. And they'll need a couple coats. Okay, now that we have all those little hearts base coated, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dry brush some highlights. Okay, and remember, just be whimsical and fun. Don't think too much. We're gonna add a little swirl on the hearts and a few little highlights, and they're just gonna come to life. Okay, so I wet my brush first, tap off the excess water, picked up a little bit of paint, and we're just gonna blend off all the extra paint just so it evenly distributes on your brush and gets rid of the excess. And we're gonna add some fun, fun little swirls in these hearts, okay, like so. So fun. I love how this color just pops. Okay, so I'm just doing those little swirls. Again, I don't do them in a full, just one stroke. I usually come on the one side, pull down, pull down on this side, and then pull down again. So it's three or four strokes, actually. You can use your smaller brushes for some of those smaller hearts, like the little quarter inch and the eighth inch. Grab my little eighth inch here for this tiny little one. A few more hands. Okay, and then of course, don't forget his little cute heart on his little stomach here. So cute.
do this once and then we'll come back and we'll actually do it again to brighten up. Okay, so there's a nice big swirl and this big heart she's sitting on watching her brother laughing. <laughs> Happens in my house quite a bit. So just doing sort of a rounded stroke on the one side like that, just kind of pendulum back and forth to add in that little highlight. And then usually I put a swirl on one side of the heart. Okay, again, you can see I'm doing lots of little strokes. Rest, rest your hand and just really lightly kind of sweep across. Okay, and then we'll come back and we'll do this all again just to really brighten. Okay, so this one I added a little bit of the base color. And then we'll have to fix up some of the snow. So we'll just come around and we'll add those little drifts in again. Okay. So I'm gonna do this all again, just to kind of strengthen this color. Okay, on all of those little hearts. And don't forget the ones at the top. There's a couple of little hearts that are hanging off the top of the, the uh, wood piece. Okay, so I finished the second layer of the first highlight color. And now I'm gonna highlight again. Okay, so we just kind of keep working up, getting a little bit brighter and brighter. And you don't even have to rinse your brush. You can just add that second color. Okay, again, I'm just taking my palette, my brush, blend off the excess. Okay, make sure that there's no water on your brush. Just nice and loose and whimsical, giving it a little bit of a highlight there. Okay, you don't have to cover up all the, the last color that you did. Still want to see some of that, but it'll sort of tie all of the little hearts together. So I'm just going to add a little bit more highlight, last one, just, okay, each highlight covers a little bit less area, so we base coated with the shadow color basically, and now we're just adding highlights on top, and this is the last final highlight, okay, again, just nice and whimsical, um, I'm picking up paint, blend off the excess, and we're just going to add a couple little dashes, okay, and kind of accent that little swirl, nice and loose. Okay. Just have fun. Don't worry about going outside the, the edges. It adds to that whimsical look. Okay, so it's nice and full right at the top and then sort of tapers off of, as I come down. And switch to your smaller brush there for those ones. Okay. So I'm 
Love doing swirls, so fun. I find it's easier to do swirls with the smaller brushes. Okay, so use, use the smaller ones here and there just to kind of accent. Okay, but nice and light, I just sort of use my whole arm when I do that swirl. Okay, instead of just my wrist, I'm using my whole arm to swirl around. Okay, and then if it's not perfect, I just go back and I just add some more. Okay, and I'm just touching up this little snowman so it looks like she's going over or sitting on top of that little heart. Okay, so I'm just fixing up her little hands there. Aren't those fun? Oh, I love doing those little hearts and swirls. Okay, so that's basically it for those little hearts. Um, I went back and I added some little swirls in the snow just so it looked like the hearts were coming out of the snow. Okay, so just going along the bottoms here and there. I accented a few of the extra highlights. Again, you can go outside the lines and just sort of fix up any little areas that you might need to. So I'm just gonna go over the bottom of this one, maybe add a little swirl, but yeah, just have fun. Let's do that lettering at the top. And again, feel free to get creative if you wanna change the saying, you can definitely do that. I'm just using a four round or you can use a five or a six, okay, whatever you have. And one tip for lettering is you always wanna pull down with your brush, never push up. Okay, and again, I kept it very whimsical, so it's not perfect. Okay, and I'm just gonna start right at the top of the love here and pull down like this. You can really press on your brush. Okay, you wanna hold your brush right on the ferrule, the metal part of the brush, and rest your hand. Okay, and you're gonna use your whole arm to paint these in. Okay, so again, just very whimsical. So starting right at the top, you can push on your brush and pull down and then lift off. Okay, same thing on the other side. I'm gonna do that little swirl. So the little swirl takes a few little strokes. Okay. All right, so there's our base to kind of start with. Oops, so you can go back and just add a few more little whimsical strokes that maybe go outside the lines a little bit just to kind of soften it up. So I used the round brush to base coat the lettering, but you can also use the eighth inch litter blender. It's nice because it adds that sort of soft edge. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of highlighting. Okay, this is with the eighth inch lunar blender. Like so. Okay, so I just started right at the top and then come down and let my brush skip as I lift off. So I'm gonna add in lots of these, lots of highlight. So cute. Okay, again, don't be afraid to go off the edge a little bit. Makes it really whimsical. Okay, 
So I'm just going to go back and add another highlight, make it even brighter. And this is all with the little 8th inch Lunar Blender. Just using the chisel on some of the skinnier areas. Okay, and then you can go back and just add a little touch more just to kind of strengthen it. All right, one last time. Just giving it that final little glow. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that big old heart in the center there, and I'm gonna use a stippler brush. A stippler brush is mostly used for pouncing. You can use it for trees and cheeks and all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that dark red. You don't have to wet the brush, you just use it as is and we're going to start by just base coating in that heart okay and we're going to get a nice soft edge just because we're using that stippler so it's going to kind of look like it's glowing which is what i wanted okay so right in here just coming right off the edge there Then we're gonna put all those pretty snowflakes on top. Okay, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight while I'm in here. I know you don't see it too, too much, but it's nice to have it. Oh, what the heck, we can even add a little swirl while we're here. Why not? Okay, so just adding that little bit of highlight. I'm gonna make this one a little brighter. See what happens underneath the snowflakes. And just and again you can brush out a little bit so it looks like it's kind of glowing and if you don't want to add snowflakes on top you definitely don't have to you can just leave it like this all right so there's our little heart Nice and quick. Well, I saved the best for last, of course. This is where we add the snowflakes and the glitter and the shimmer and all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, so the so usually what I do is I actually uh, varnish the piece now, just because I find that when you varnish after um, you add the glitter, it kind of dulls it a little bit. And usually I just, you can either use a brush on or a spray on, whatever you have, and it's usually an exterior, especially if you're putting this outside. Okay, so, and then let it dry really well because you don't want all that glitter to stick to it. Um, or maybe you do. <laughs> okay, so basically uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a little bit of shimmer to the snowman. Okay, if you do have any graphite lines that were kind of left over, you should erase those. And I'm using Enchanted Shimmer by DecoArt. It's so fun. Okay, so it adds sort of like a little bit of a holographic, translucent, sparkling shimmer. Okay, so this one's white and I'm just going to take up my flat brush and I'm going to paint it on top of this little snowman. Okay, so it is pretty transparent, but it does, if you hold it in the light just right, it'll give you such a nice little shimmering color.
Okay, so I'm going, you can go right over top of their eyes. I didn't go over the noses. Okay, so this is just kind of all over. You can even, you can definitely see it on this one. Okay, right in here. All over their little bodies. Wherever you want. What the heck, we can go right over top of the heart too, why not? Okay, you can actually paint it over the whole snow area if you like. It just gives it a really nice shimmer. Okay, so right in here. And I also have one other color, it's the Enchanted Turquoise. Um, this is really cool. It just gives it such a nice little shimmer on the dad's scarf. So if you hold it in the light just right, you get kind of a turquoise turquoise shimmer. It's so pretty. Okay, so again, they look kind of, they look clear. So when you put it on your palette, this one's the turquoise and this one's the white. They look very similar. But um, I'm just going to take a little bit of that. And then when you put it on your piece and you hold it in the light just right, you just get this really nice sort of dazzling little shimmery effect. Okay, and I painted that on the scarf. Okay, so there's our Okay, dad. so we've got that in there and then we have all these fun products. They're so much fun. You can add um, holographic illusions. This is, again, you sort of get the magic of a true holographic glitter paint. Um, and then you get a little bit of sparkle, well, lots of sparkle. It's so much fun. Okay, so I've got a little bit of pink, I've got some red, or you can use um, the galaxy glitters. Man, they're so pretty. They're, they're really nice, big, big glitters. And you can see that, I use that on her scarf. The little heart, I use it on all the different hearts. You, can kind of use it wherever you like and there's also a clear so there's an ice crystal one um, and you can paint this on any color and it'll just make it shimmer it's so pretty okay so I've got some of the pink holographic I'm gonna put some on her her cuff here her hat I'm even gonna put some on her the main part of her hat just to kind of give it a little bit of a glitter it looks really pretty when you use a corresponding color underneath. So this one's the fairy pink and then I'm just gonna add this over top of some of those pink areas. Or red. So this one's got the red on there. You can change it up however you want. So, and then once you've got all of those, a little bit of glitter on all of those, you can actually take a little bit of snow text and the snow text is such a fun product. Um, of course it looks like snow. So it comes like this and I just use a stippler brush to apply it. And I'm going to take a little bit of that snow text and you can put some on your palette actually. I'm just going to sneak a little bit out of the jar right here. Okay. And just to make it a little easier to apply, what I did was I took a little bit of the, I took a little bit of the Galaxy Glitter Ice Comet, Clear Ice Comet, and I squeezed a little bit in the snow checks. What the heck, right? And it kind of thins it a little bit and just makes it easier to apply. Next I put on all of those little drifts. So right in here, like this, it just, makes them pop it's so fun makes them three-dimensional and you can add this wherever you want so if there's a little bit of you know you want to bring out or add some snow on the little snowman's noses you can definitely do that okay I'm gonna add some on his feet right in there I'm just accenting some of those little swirls, all the drifts. Okay, 
And you can even add a little bit on, you know, their toque. If you want to stick one a little bit just sitting on their hat, even a little bit on top of their pom pom. bow down there like this and then maybe a little bit sitting on their cute little noses okay and this doesn't take very long to dry okay and then on their scarves you can add a little bit So cute. Okay, and then we're not done. You can actually take a little bit of glamour dust, just a loose glitter. It's like a loose ice crystal. Big glitter. And I'm going to shake that on all of the snow. So I'm just going to take that. And you might want to put a little paper at the end of your, at the bottom of your little board here to catch all the excess glitter. But I'm just going to make all of that snow shimmer. This is why I'm so sparkly all the time. <laughs> it's so much fun. And look at how pretty the snow looks now. But it's got... I don't know if you can see it, but look at all the glitter. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. So fun. Okay. And then we're of course gonna add all of those cute little snowflakes. So for those I use um, just a snowflake stencil. Okay, so any of your favorite snowflake stencils you can use right in here. Yes, I've used them quite a few times as you can tell. Okay, and I'm just using a product. Um, it's the modeling paste, so Decor at Media modeling paste, and it comes in white, which is great. So, and you can use your palette knife. So you're just gonna take a little bit of paste. And usually what I do is I actually cut my stencils so they're a little smaller, and then that way I can use them sort of here and there without actually disturbing too many other snowflakes. Okay, so basically um, what I did was I took those little snowflake stencils and you can use whatever you want if you want this you can use smaller snowflakes or but all of them what I did was I took the stencil you go over top with a little bit of paste just using and you hold it in place nice and firm okay and then just lightly go over top with the paste lift off and then you can sprinkle again with a little bit of that dust well, it's still wet and it just makes it shimmer. It's so pretty. And I just did a whole bunch over top of this, this heart. Okay, so pick a stencil that you have that's that has some snowflakes really nice and close together. And you can just keep adding. So you might have to let it dry a little bit. Okay, so I'll do a couple here. Okay, so there's one, and then I can do one over here. Maybe I'll do one right in the center. This one I'll, I'll make a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'll just put this one right in the middle. off and then I'm gonna add another one while I still can like so and then you just kind of keep going and going back and adding a few more little snowflakes as they dry and then of course don't forget to sprinkle them with glitter so I'm just gonna take a little bit of glitter while they're still wet okay 
And again, I usually use a paper. You can just sprinkle it on the paper and then fold the paper in half. And then you can put the excess back in the bottle to use for later. So, <laughs> so you can add a whole bunch of snowflakes. And then again, if you want to spray it, you can definitely spray it like that, but it sometimes the spray does dull the glitter a little bit, so a lot of times I actually just leave. So I hope you had fun today. I'm Holly Hanley, and please subscribe and share and comment on this video, and if you do paint this, please tag me. I'm on Facebook, and it's at Holly Hanley Artist, or Holly Hanley Painting Designs and Classes, or my Holly Hanley page. So have fun getting creative and get your glitter on.